Assalamu alaikum. One of the most inspiring hadith of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, is when he said, So cherish that which gives you benefit, seek help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and do not lose motivation. And if any trouble comes to you, don't say if I had done it that way, it would have not happened like this. But say, Qaddar Allah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did what he had already ordained to do. You know, every single one of us has a past. We've been hurt, we've been offended, disappointed, made some poor decisions. And bringing those events back can definitely weigh you, weigh you down, like, you know, carrying heavy loads on your shoulders. And it's not logical. It's not logical to always go back to, to the past to blame yourself and blame others for events that are already gone. Looking back would definitely be beneficial, and we're asked actually to do that, but only if our intention is to discover the essence of a mistake in order to avoid it in the future or to learn from it. And so look at the past, but only enough to learn from the experience. You know, the Muslims, after the battle of Uhud, they were regretful. They asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for forgiveness. They asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for repentance. However, a lot of them couldn't really let go of what happened, constantly blaming themselves until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to them عنكم, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has already forgiven you. If we could all go back to the past to grab those hurtful events, change whatever displeased us about them or turn them into good events, then don't you think that the return to the past would have been a necessity? We would all have rushed to do it, just to ease all of the regretful things and the regretful acts of the past. But since it is impossible to physically do that, it is to our benefit to focus and put more effort into what we have, into our you know, present, to compensate for the past. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you and bless your family. Stay safe and healthy. Assalamu alaikum.